God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The true meaning of Christmas is the celebration of this incredible act of love. The real Christmas story is the story of God becoming a human being and the person of Jesus Christ. So why did God do such a thing? Because He loved us. Why was Christmas necessary? Because we needed a Savior. Why does God love us so much? Because God is love. Why do we celebrate Christmas each year? Out of gratitude for what God did for us. We remember His birth by giving each other gifts, worshipping Him, and being specially conscious of the poor and less fortunate. The true meaning of Christmas is love. God loved His own and provided a way, the only way, for us to spend eternity with Him. He gave His own Son to take our punishment for our sins. He paid the price in full, as Saint Paul said, but God demonstrated His own love for us in this, while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. So let's contemplate on the following, the Christmas spirit. The doll and the white rose. I hurried into the local department store to grab some last minute Christmas gifts. I looked at all the people and grumbled to myself, I would be in here forever and I just had so much to do. Christmas was beginning to become such a drag. I kind of wished that I could just leap through Christmas. But I hurried the best I could through all the people to the toy department. Once again, I kind of mumbled to myself at the prices of all these toys and wondered if the grandkids would even play with them. I find myself in the doll aisle. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little boy, about five, holding a lovely doll. He kept touching her hair and he held her so gently. I could not seem to help myself. I just kept looking over at the little boy and wondered who the doll was for. I watched him turn to a woman and called his aunt by name and said, are you sure I don't have enough money? She replied a bit impatiently. You know that you don't have enough money for it. The aunt told the little boy not to go anywhere, that she had to get, go and get some other things and would be back in a few minutes and then she left the aisle. The boy continued to hold the doll. After a bit, I asked the boy who the doll was for. He said, it is the doll my sister wanted so badly for Christmas. She just knew that Santa would bring it. I told him that maybe Santa was going to bring it. He said, no, Santa can't go where my sister is. I have to give the doll to my mama to take her. I asked him where his sister was. He looked at me with the saddest eyes and said, she has gone to be with Jesus. My daddy says that Mama is going to have to go with her. My heart nearly stopped beating. Then the boy looked at me again and said, I told my daddy to tell Mama not to go yet. I told him to tell her to wait till I got back from the store. Then he asked me if I would see his picture. I told him I would love to. He pulled out a small picture he had taken at the front of the store. He said, I want my mama to take this with her so she wouldn't ever forget me. I love my mama so very much and I wish she did not have to leave me. But daddy says she will need to be with my sister. I saw that the little boy had lowered his head 
and had grown so very quiet. While he was not looking, I reached into my purse and pulled out a handful of bills. I asked the little boy, shall we count that money one more time? He grew excited and said, yes, I just know it has to be enough. So I slipped my money in with his and we began to count it. Of course, it was plenty for the doll. He softly said, thank you, Jesus, for giving me enough money. Then the boy said, I just asked Jesus to give me enough money to buy this doll so mama can take it with her to give to my sister. I wanted to ask him for enough to buy my mama a white rose, but I didn't ask him. But he gave me enough to buy the doll and the rose for my mama. She loves white roses so very, very much. In a few minutes, the aunt came back and I wheeled my cart away. I could not keep from thinking about the little boy as I finished my shopping. In a totally different spirit than when I had started, and I kept remembering a story I had seen in the newspaper several days earlier about a drunk driver hitting a car and killing a little girl and leaving the mother in serious condition. The family was deciding on whether to remove the life support. Now surely this little boy did not belong with that story. Two days later, I read in the paper where the family had disconnected the life support and the young woman had died. I could not forget the little boy and just kept wondering if the two were somehow connected. Later that day, I could not help myself and I went out and bought some white roses and took them to the funeral home where the young woman was. And there she was holding a lovely white rose, the beautiful doll and the picture of the little boy in the store. I left there in tears my life changed forever. The love that little boy had for his little sister and his mother were overwhelming. In a split second, a drunk driver had ripped the life of that little boy to pieces. Let us pray together. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts.